Being an astronaut or a cosmonaut is one of the most prestigious jobs both on and off the Earth. But being a woman, it hasn't been just about reaching space. It's also been about overcoming some very man-made obstacles to get there. This is the first woman in space, Valentina Tereshkova. She made her historic voyage in 1963, just two years after fellow Russian cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin, the first human in space. In fact, Soviet officials called her Gagarin in a skirt. Tereshkova was an expert parachutist. She had 150 jumps to her name. At the time, cosmonauts were required just seconds before landing to jump from their capsules, making her the perfect choice. In her pioneering solo space mission, she spent three days in space, making 48 orbits of the Earth. Not only was she the first woman in space, but she was also the first civilian. And she remains the youngest person and the only female to have made a solo space mission. Even at the age of 80, she says that she'd like to travel to Mars. Since then, women have racked up space firsts of many kinds. Peggy Whitson was the first woman to command the International Space Station, twice. Helen Sharman was Britain's first astronaut and the first person to visit the Mir space station who wasn't Russian. She got the job after hearing a radio advert that said, astronaut wanted, no experience necessary. Mae Jemison was the first African-American female astronaut and the first astronaut to appear in Star Trek. Kate Rubens was the first person to sequence DNA in space, a breakthrough that allows astronauts to diagnose illness, to monitor crew health in real time, and one day, maybe even detect life beyond Earth. Sunita Williams, the first person to run a marathon in orbit. I can't even do it on Earth. And despite all these firsts, women still have to overcome sexism before they complete their missions. Cosmonauts, in preparation for a space mission that will be in 2029, were asked by the press how they could possibly cope without men and makeup for eight whole days. Sally Ride, America's first woman in space, was asked by NASA engineers if she would need 100 tampons for six days in orbit. She was also disappointed with the press focus on her being a woman, she said. It'll be a wonderful day when this isn't news. Quite. 